Hello once again model kit builders and drag racing fans. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Model Car Show. My name is Trevor Slusky, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And today I will show you one of my old time model kits from my collection. Now I built this one a long time ago and I do have a review of this model kit if you want to check it out. That of course is our AMT 1940 Ford Coupe. This is from about 1986 and I wanted to build a car that looked like the one on the side of the box here. You can kind of see it. It is metallic blue with black fenders and there's that neat stove bolt decal sitting right there. Sorry, not stove bolt. It says the Avenger. So let me put this to the side here. Make sure it doesn't crash to the ground. There we go. Here is my version of that model car. Bingo! The 1940 Ford Businessman Coupe Dragster version. Now this kit, of course, you could build one of three ways, stock, custom, or drag. And this is my version. Now the stove bolt here replaces the Avenger because this kit I actually built as a kid. And somewhere in my teens, I think actually it was, when I was 15 or 16, actually, now that I remember, maybe 17, I took the model kit apart and I repainted everything in sort of the same way and I used new decals on it and I didn't have the Avenger anymore. I had the stove bolt, which was from the 51 Chevy. Yeah, but anyway, rest assured, we are going to take a look at this model kit today. And now let's go down to our bench and see what I did to this thing. Here we have our 1940 Ford Dragster. And this kit actually was a rework because originally I had done this when I was about 11 years old, I guess. And then I revamped it in 1992. So. The original 1986 version is sort of lost, but it was painted in the same color scheme, metallic blue with these black fenders. At one point, I thought I was going to make this into a convertible, so I actually took my saw and started sawing the roof off. And then I had a change of heart and left it, but the saw marks are still in here. Uh, this has the Buick Riviera custom seat in it from, I think, the 69 Riviera. A tachometer, a steering wheel, can't remember where I got it from, but it's not a kit one. Fuel cell down on the floorboards. The decals here, I've used a little stove bolt from the 1951 Chevy. I didn't really realize that stove bolt was actually the name of the engine. Uh, these ones here, castor oil and the NGK ACs and the moon eyes, those are all from uh, Woodland Scenics Rub-On Transfers and then all the Iski Cams and Morso and the American Racing Equipped, all that stuff was from one of the AMT kits. Street is neat of course. Got a Ford logo up here and number four on the roof which we'll see later on. Uh, interesting use of wheels. Can't remember where these ones are from but these moons are definitely from the Studebaker Advanti kit. The exhaust manifold here, or pipes, are from the AMT55 Chevy, the Nomad. Uh, because the actual Chevy Coupe wasn't uh, built then. Ford Power underneath on the glass. This is from the original, before the re remodel. And the center pillar was lost, so I made up my own from some plastic. So again, we can take a look under the hood. Actually because this is a dragster. Yeah. There we go. We got that Buick nail head under there with the... Now, there's a 671 blower and a 471 blower I discovered in my Hot Rod magazines. And I'm not really sure what's what now because they do look the same. So, <laughs> what can you say? But again, there it is. Uh, just zip this around kind of faster now. Uh, the front flames on the hood, I believe, came from the 39 Ford. And the one or on the fenders are 39 Ford, and the one on the hood was from the 40. 
Now we can remove the hood on our 1940 Ford hot rod here, our dragster, and you can make out the Buick nail head engine. This one of course came as a custom piece in the Trophy Series AMT car, right out of the box, no switching. And again there's our blower intake and all the rest. I'll just turn it this way for you guys. You can see that amazing motor provided the focus comes in <laughs> anyway uh, yeah so there it is in all its glory underneath our Ford I've just basically painted everything flat black the uh, raised height here my dad put a little piece of plastic in underneath so that the rear wheels would be lifted up and that piece of plastic is just under the center of the spring here in the back there's those headers from the Chevy Nomad and our chrome drop axle and I did make this uh, weird steering radius rod deal up here out of stretch sprue and on the inside of our wheels I've got the white walls reversed as uh, my dad was saying they used to do back in the 50s on some of the race cars and whatnot and again these are nice good Goodyear Rally GTs wide ones in the back so again pretty cool underneath there Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at our 1940 Ford Businessman Coupe Dragster Edition. Hope you enjoyed my Buick nail head motor here with that great big blower on there and all that stuff. And a bit of part swapping and the whole deal. Now remember, you can get some neat model kits if you are not afraid to try swapping parts, experimenting, seeing what's in the model kit spare parts box and using it for different ways and advantages and all kinds of cool stuff, you can build your own unique model car kits. Now, if you built one of these in the past, now I know AMT and Round 2 and all the other AMT affiliates going all the way back to 1962 have issued this model kit. So I want to know how you built yours, what you did with it, and all kinds of other cool things. Share your photos on our Facebook in the link down below. And remember, don't forget to experiment and try new things with your models and have fun out there. And until next time, everyone, happy model building. Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, because, well, YouTube is, it, we are monetized. YouTube does pay us, but it's sort of up and down based on views. If you'd like to support us with something a little more steady, visit our Patreon account, like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. It's uh, pretty easy. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building.